Hey guys, I'm John from Sky Studio. So today I'm going to show you guys how I created this dark saber scene in Blender. And um, you guys can actually download the Baby Yoda model for free. Uh, I'll leave a uh, link in the description. I think it's from Beeple. So yeah, let's get on with the tutorial. So I'm going to start by selecting everything with A and deleting with X and adding a reference image as a background and then adding a cube. Then move the cube on top of our reference mage, scale it in the x-axis and tab into edit mode, add a loop cut in the middle with ctrl r and delete one side of our face and add a mirror modifier. Tab into edit mode, go to the front, extrude it and align it to our reference mage, scale it in the y-axis and add a new cube, scale it down, place it on top of our reference, add a rear modifier and uh, duplicate the same cube, delete the array modifier, tab in edit mode, align it onto the reference, add loop cut, extrude it out with SX0, align it, make it straight, and tab in edit mode, subdivide it five times, and tab out of edit mode, select the vertices, and dissolve the extra vertices you feel if you feel like doing it, or else just leave it like that. And go back with C, select back vertices, extrude out with E, scale it down, and select the corner edges, bevel it with Control V. If you feel like you haven't scaled the back properly, align it manually, the SXY0, and bevel the back corners as well. Scale the objects we just created and duplicate. The array modifier delete it and rotate it. Tap back into edit mode. Add a loop card with Control R. E extrude it up and duplicate it three times and move it evenly or on top of your cube and with Control J make it a single object. Select them and put it on top and move it back. Add boolean modifier to our cube rename the difference object and apply it in to our boolean modifier and make sure it's on top of our mirror modifier and add few loop cuts alt left click and select a few faces and change the transform pivot points to individual origins and extrude scale down and apply the boolean modifier now i'm going to add plane scale it down align it on top of our blade, scale it uh, in edit mode and keep it on top of our blade as much as possible, extrude, add a loop cut with control R. In edit mode, press U and unwrap. Select the same image we used in our backdrop and scale it in our UV and keep it on top of our image. Now duplicate the blade and delete the material, add a new emission shader, add a, solidify, add a solidify modifier to the main blade and uh, select the vertices on the bottom and scale it in the y-axis a bit so that it looks a bit sharp and select the emission shader with the plane we created, move it to the middle of our mesh and Tab into edit mode and pull the pull, pull uh, push and pull the vertices out so that it looks like it's outlining our blade. So we'll be using that as the emission material in our lightsaber. Create new material, increase the metallic value, dec or decrease the reference to about 0.25, and add it to all our uh, other objects and create an empty and parent all the objects into our empty and move it to a different collection. Go to cycles and select emission and add a camera, lights, rotate them, make the world settings black, point the camera towards the handle and increase the strength and hit render. Go to the composition tab, use nodes and add a denoise node and also and then save our denoise image and our emission texture and go to Photoshop and open up those images. 
place the emission mask on top of our image and change the blend mode to screen and go to filters and make the blur Gaussian blur and make it 10 and duplicate it a few times and there you go guys we have our light save so if you guys make this tutorial tag me on your work so i can see them maybe and leave some feedback as well so follow me on insta i'll be posting more of my work there before i upload tutorials and i have a lot of videos like this in my channel so you guys can check them out as well and i'll be making three videos a week mostly character modeling videos and animation loops like this so on mondays make sure you guys catch those animation loops and the rest of the week i'll be posting uh, more character modeling videos so if you guys want to learn how i created this sci-fi hallway scene you guys can click here and if you guys want to create more animation loops like this you guys can click the playlist over here so thank you guys for watching this tutorial if you guys liked it leave a comment and subscribe to this channel so thank you guys see you in the next one peace